Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about LT spice simulation of AC voltage control using diac and triac. Or in other words, LT spice simulation of AC phase control using diac and triac. So we are going to understand how you're gonna design the circuit in LT spice by using diac and triac. Then I'll let you know how how to add the spice model in LT spice in order to run the simulation. So I'm going to explain how you are going to add the diac DB3 and the triac T0, T3035 in your LT spice library. And later I'll run the simulation and I'll show you the different waveforms like what is the gate current waveforms. What is the what is the waveforms at resistance R3 or the load resistance? What is the what is the voltage across the track? What is the voltage across the diac? What is the diac current and how you are controlling your AC voltage AC voltage by using the combination of diac and the triac? So let us understand first the circuit flow V1 is my AC voltage and if I read right click on it the 325 volt is the peak and the 50 hertz frequency. What does it mean that 230 volt RMS and 50 hertz frequency. Then I have connected the resistance R2 that is 30k and the capacitor C2 that is 0.1 microfarad then R100 ohm and the C1 again 0.1 microfarad and this RC time constant gives the firing angle of firing angle of your diac as soon as the voltage across C2 reaches the threshold voltage of your diac then only your diac conducts okay and then if you look at here this R3 is the load and that the value of R3 at the moment time using is 1k R1000 ohm and uh, then after that this is the this is the track and I am controlling the gate of gate of your track by using the diac itself this u2 is a diac and this u1 is the triac so i'm controlling the gate of gate of your triac with the help of di diac so it's very easy you can just draw this circuit by looking my circuit and you can find the components in your lt spice let me show you if you want to search the triac triac you will find the track here and if you search DIAC you will find the diac here okay once you add this uh, components here this is your simulation is not going to work okay why because I haven't added the spice model in my LT spice library directive so how you gonna add the spice model for diac and triac so let us say in order to add this just go at the ST micro electronics website and search for the LT spice track spice model okay once you search for the track spice model it is downloading and you can download from here okay and also you can download the diac model diac diac spice model and once you search the diac spice model you can find here the dot lib and dot olb file you can you can download this and uh, the, since this is in zip form you can unzip it once you do the unzip then you have to come in the where you have to come in your uh, c drive program files and ltc and uh, once you click on ltc you will see here lt spice xv double i the version of lt spice just click on here go add then the library this is your library dot lib and paste your paste your diac and triac files so i have directly pasted here if you look at this my st diac p spice and this one is the st high temperature h series triacs okay now click on your diac click on st diac and uh, just right click on it once you right click on it go at the property go at the property and if you look at the location here you can just copy this location so i'll copy this location here so i'll copy this location and uh, what you're gonna do is now go at the lt spice and uh, you can use the spice directive dot op here spice directive 
click on spice directive and once you click on spice directive you see this window and uh, i right click this and uh, spice directive you can paste this okay so how you gonna paste this very important to understand you have to write the syntax dot inc and then you have to paste let me do for you here i'll go i'll go here the dot i and i i have added one backslash and what you need to do is now you have to this time you have to copy the file name so i copy the file name stdix so after the backslash you paste this stdix then write dot lib okay so dot lib and this i have written now if you look at here dot inc the path of your file and then again the name of your file and dot lib and same thing you have to do for your track as well so paste the file in program file c drive program file then ltc then lt spice xv double i paste your location there and the paste the name as the as shown here and then your model is ready to simulate so my model is right now working i'm just uh, i'll go at the simulate button this run button and straight away i'll run the simulation so it's showing some kind of error but it's not a problem so just maximize this window and let us see let us see one by one let me show you first input voltage so this is your input voltage right this is your input voltage it looks like 325 volt peak now i add one plot pane and i'll show you okay so if you look at here so it it's in it's it's a direct current but it's in form of the pulse right if you look at here it's in form you see some pulse here right the some pulse duration okay so it's in form of the pulse based on the rc r2 and c2 value rc time constant okay now if i show you the i've shown you the pulse the gate pulse at similar the direct current is also similar as the track current let me show you track current don't worry so if i click on here let me show you the gate current how i can show you gate current no so i can so right should come not sure why not coming yeah let's see this is your gate current okay and more or less you see your direct current is similar as your track current so both current are the same now let me show you the track voltage here if you look at this is track voltage okay and if you look at now your track voltage how it looks like this is your track voltage. let me change the color okay so this is your track voltage it is if you as soon as you see the pulse here at this side your voltage across the track is gonna be zero and uh, it it is zero if you see here then it started again following the input voltage and again zero likewise is follow the cycle now let me show you let me add one plot pin and let me show you the load resistance voltage okay and uh, this is your load voltage this is your load voltage and if you look at now let me change the color for this as well some other color okay so at at the start if you see the voltage across the load resistance is zero then at this point your track is following your input voltage now here your track is track voltage voltage across the track is zero so you see your voltage across the load resistance following your input voltage and once the voltage across the load resistance is zero if you look at this point if you look at here down here down your track follows your input voltage and same cycle repeat and if you club this two voltage together let me do it for you and if you club this two voltage together and let me delete these two things two plot pen so that you can see and now if you see if you add both load resistance voltage the voltage across r3 vr3 plus v track the voltage across the track and according to kirchhoff law the vr3 plus v track equal to your v peak voltage your input voltage okay whatever you have at your input voltage you are dividing your input voltage 
across the load resistance and the, the track. So if you apply the KVL, V1 equals to VR3 plus V track. And if you look at here, this is V peak is your input voltage. Now what I'm doing here is I am adding the voltage across load resistance and the, the voltage across the track. And if you add both together, it you can see here it is as similar as as similar as your input voltage now the thing is that now the thing is if you look at here now let me let me add one more plot pane and just just hold on let me add the one plot pane here add the plot pane and shift this to here okay now if you see here by using the combination of diac and triac, you are controlling your input voltage. Okay, your input voltage you are controlling at some point, your input voltage is zero here across the track. Okay, at some point across the load resistance, your input voltage is zero. With the help of diac and triac combination, you are controlling your voltage across the track and your voltage across your load resistance. What does it mean that? At the end, you are controlling your phase. You are controlling the phase angle of your AC inputs. Phase angle of your AC inputs. So, hope guys, you have understood how you're gonna simulate, how you're gonna control AC voltage control by using diac and triac, and how you're gonna simulate it in LT Spice. If you have any further question on this topic, feel free to ask me in comment section. Thanks for watching this video.